Hello friends, welcome to Perf Metrics, the core performance testing YouTube channel. Continue with the performance testing basics. In this video, we will discuss 90th percentile response time. 90th percentile is a frequently used term in the performance testing field. Even you faced many questions in the interview on the same. This video will provide you with the detailed answer to the questions like what is percentile, what is 90th percentile response time and how to calculate it. So let's begin. Percentile is very common but most important term, especially in the performance testing field. From the day first, when we start analyzing any performance testing report, we heard about 90th percentile. Even our mentor gave more stress on 90th percentile figures for the response time. Before understanding 90th percentile, let's try to understand what is percentile. Percentile is a value below which a percentage of the data falls. For example, if you are the fifth tallest person in your office and office has a strength of 20 people, then it implies that 75% of the people are shorter than you and your height will be the 75th percentile among this set of the height of 20 people. Okay, now as I told you that the percentile is a frequently used term in the performance testing. So this term is especially used for the response time of the transactions or request in performance testing. Remember that the response time of a particular request includes server processing time and network journey time. In performance testing, the consideration of percentile depends on the criticality of the business. For normal business processes, 90th and 95th percentile is used whereas 99th percentile are used for very critical business flows. Among 90th, 95th and 99th percentile, 90th percentile response time is very common. So let's try to understand 90th percentile by one example. Look at the table. It has the response time of a web page along with the iteration number. This response time data is of 14 iterations. Now you can see the different value of the response time in each iteration. We have to find out the 90th percentile of the given web page. If I refer to the result generated by any performance testing tool, then 1.9 will be the 90th percentile response time of the page. It means 90 percentage of the total iterations have lesser response time then 1.9 seconds. But how does performance testing tool calculate it? So for that purpose, we need to understand the calculation. Now try to understand the calculation of 90th percentile. There are three steps involved in the calculation of 90th percentile. The first step is to calculate the data and arrange into a table. The second step is to sort the data in an increasing order with respect to the value whose 90th percentile need to calculate. Now as a third step, apply the percentile formula which is shown here. The 90th percentile value in a sorted list is equal to the nth position which is calculated by multiplying 0.9 with the total number of data available in the list. If you multiply 0.9 with the total number of data available in the list and get a non-integer number, then round off the value to the closest integer so that nth position can be obtained. Here we have discussed the calculation of 90th percentile. Now we will see a practical example to understand it. We have seen this data 
in the previous slide and we know that the performance testing tool has calculated the 90th percentile value as 1.9 seconds but how that we need to know so let's apply the steps which we have discussed before we need to sort the data in an increasing order with respect to the response time now apply the formula since the total number of data in the list is 14 so we will multiply it with 0 0.9 that is 90 divided by 100 and we got the number like 12.6 after rounding off the number to the closest integer we get 13 it means the value at 13th position in the sorted list will be the 90th percentile response time of the web page and the value is 1.9 second hope you got the calculation and will try at your end for more example you can refer to the article published on Perfmetrics website the link of the article is given in the description section of this video after discussing the definition, calculation, and example of 90th percentile, let's try to understand the importance of 90th percentile in performance testing. Percentile is often considered as a performance goal. If the given SLA has 90th percentile NFR and it meets during the test, then it shows that the 90 percentage of the users have an experience that matches your performance goal it gives additional confidence to the client over his application sometimes average response time appears extremely high and individual data set seems normal even a couple of peaks in the response time skew the average response time numbers and impact the test result in such scenarios 90th percentile or other percentile values eliminate the unusual spike data from the result. In reality, most of the application have very few spikes in the graph. A statistician would say that the curve has long tail. A long tail does not imply many slow transactions, but few that are magnitude slower than the norm. In that case, 90th percentile helpful because it ignores 10% of the request having the spike, which can be ignored. If the 50th percentile or medium of the response time is 5 seconds, that means 50% of the transactions are either fast or faster than 5 seconds. If the 90th percentile of the same transaction is at 8 seconds, it means that 90% of the transactions are as fast or faster and only 10% are slower. The average in this case could either be lower than 5 seconds or somewhere in between. A percentile gives a much better sense of real world performance because it shows a slice of response time curve. If we calculate the difference of the 90th percentile value and the average response time value and divide this difference with the average response time value then it gives an idea of the spread of the different data points. If the ratio is extremely small it means that the average and 90th percentile value are very close to each other and will indicate good and constant performance of the application. However, if the ratio is large, it shows high deviation in the response time and non-uniform performance of the application. This is one of the method where 90th percentile is useful. Although I would recommend to draw your conclusion using standard deviation only. Percentiles are a really great an easy way of understanding the real performance characteristics of the application. They also provide a great basis for automatic baselining, application behavioral learning, 
and optimizing the application with a proper focus. However, averages are ineffective because they are too simplistic and one dimensional. In short, percentile that is 90th, 95th and 99th are great in the performance testing world. That's it in this video. Hope you got detailed information about 90th percentile, its calculation and its importance. I will cover more performance testing topics in the coming videos. Till that, stay connected with Perf Metrics, the core performance testing YouTube channel.